Welcome to this video brought to you by River City Graphics. Today's tutorial comes to you from the forums at rivercitygraphics.com. I have a user who has asked, I was wondering if you could do a tutorial on creating brushes in Photoshop. I know that you did a tutorial on importing br brushes into Photoshop that were downloaded from various sites. If I wanted to create my own brushes to distribute or use personally, how would I do it? And I responded that I could do a tutorial on this. So let's get started. We're going to start by creating a new document in Photoshop. Uh, I'm using 300 by 300 pixels, um, depending on how big you want your brush. Um, just set that accordingly. So I'm going to click OK. And then um, in this situation, let's say that we wanted to create um, a lot of dots, like we had a polka dot background or something like that, um, and we wanted to make a lot of dots very quickly instead of making them all at once. So that would be a perfect situation for a brush. So I'm just going to grab the ellipse tool, uh, hold shift, and then just make a bunch of different dots. And then once you have the brushes uh, made, you can actually add different styles to it um, once they're actually in your document. Um, so we're just going to do a basic thing right now. So let's say that we're happy with this and we have our dots and we want to use this as our brush. So now we take and rasterize the layer so that... Um, we can make it into a brush, so right click rasterize layer, and then we're going to go to edit and then define brush preset. So now you can see it shows a little brush icon, almost like how you have in your brushes uh, palette, um, because that's what we're creating. So then we're just going to title, let's just call it dots, and we'll click OK. So now um, the brush should be created. Um, let's click, let's close this, and we'll just create a new document. Let's make it, let's make it a lot bigger. Let's make it a thousand by thousand, um, and then we're going to grab our brush tool, and then we should be able to scroll down, and you can see right here at the bottom, this is the brush we just created, and you can see that we can create this, and you, if you put these on different layers, you could rotate them, you could do whatever you want basically to this, um, depending on, uh, I'm using the bracket keys right now, right above the enter key, um, and I'm making it bigger and smaller, so you can change the different size of your brush um, based on that. So you can see the possibilities with this basically saving you a ton of time um, just by creating a brush. Um, one of the things that wasn't in the request uh, that I kind of wanted to show you guys was also how to create a pattern. So I'm just going to close this up and we're going to go to file new and eight. I'm going to make it eight pixels by eight pixels. Um, patterns generally you want very small. Um, I'm going to get the pencil tool out. Um, now just to zoom in so you guys can see this and because I can't really do it without zooming in. Um, what we're going to do to make this pattern is um, we're going to grab like just a black and then we're going to just start making a pattern. Like let's just make it like five down. Just kind of let's make a striped pattern. And it's not going to look great right here, but once we start uh, getting this together, you'll see you'll see it come together. So uh, from a distance, it'll look much more like stripes than it does up close. So I just made kind of a general pattern here, and you can see like the stripes in the middle and on the corner here. So now what we're going to do, uh, I can kind of zoom out a little bit so that you guys can see. Uh, let's do like just a thousand percent. You guys can kind of see how it's starting to look like stripes. Um, the reason you want patterns smaller is so that they look more seamless once you actually create them. Um, so I'm just going to go to edit uh, and then define pattern and we'll call this stripe. R-I-P-E. Alright, so we're going to call that stripe. So we're going to click OK and now it's been set as a stripe. So I can close this now. Um, let's just make a new document. Uh, let's make it like 500 by 500. It's a pretty good size. And we'll click OK. And now what we're going to do is, uh, I don't know, let's just make a rectangle. Uh, let's get a good gray color, a little lighter gray. And we'll just make a rectangle. And now let's add our pattern to that. We can go to uh, it's off the screen right now, but I'm going to pattern overlay. It's going to pull up this box, and you see a kind of a default like bubble almost pattern there. And if you drag this, or if you click on the little uh, pull down menu, you can see your pattern that you created right here. And you can see that we have added the stripes to this. 
so you can see how um, you can easily make a background like if we wanted to take just this whole shape and kind of lower the opacity on that or something in the background it could make a really uh, neat effect just kind of a subtle thing uh, that just adds some dimension to your um, your document so now uh, what I wanted to show you was actually how you can save these out to upload to somewhere else or if you want to transfer them between computers um, that's how you can do that so what we're gonna do um, at least for the brushes uh, I'm just gonna go to the brush tool and I'm gonna take this drag down or this drop down menu and I'm going to go to uh, preset manager and make sure brushes are selected and then I'm going to select the brush that we created um, you can also select other brushes by holding shift uh, if you wanted to make an entire set like you would get um, online on different brush providing websites. So I'm just going to select that and then we're going to go to save set. And then let's go to desktop. I kind of set up a folder for this. Uh, I named it brushes and patterns. All right. And let's just say, um, what do we want to call this? Let's just call it uh, dot like we did before. So we'll just click save and now that is in there so now if we wanted to save out our pattern we can go here go to this pattern save set and I wanted to put it into this so that we can upload it somewhere else it's a lot easier to find it if it's on your desktop in a folder than if it's um, throughout a whole bunch of different Adobe folders and the presets and all that so we'll just call that uh, stripe okay and we'll click save and so now those should be in that folder and you can also delete patterns uh, through this if you accidentally created one and you were like, oh darn, how do I get rid of this? You can delete them through this too. Um, so we'll click close on that. And uh, I actually have the folder open. Um, and you can see that you have the dot um, pattern here, or the dot brush. Um, and it's an ABR file, which is a brush file, and the stripe, which is a pattern file. So now you can upload these, share these with your friends, share these um, between your computers, um, however you want to do it now you can do it. So I hope this helped a uh, person on the forums and it's a very good tip for others. Uh, so I hope that you guys got something on this. Um, if you guys have any questions or tutorial suggestions, uh, just go over to the site, suggest them, uh, and you might see them in a tutorial one day. So I hope you guys like this. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and I will see you later. Thanks.